This simulation works very much like a real compound microscope. To succeed in getting a specimen into view, follow this sequence of steps. The checklist will help you keep track of steps you have completed. First, turn on the light. Click here to learn how to do this. Now you want to open the iris so you see the light and you want to do this in real life too and then you want to make sure that you center the specimen over top of the light and you're going to do this before you actually look into the microscope. Now this particular um, simulation wants you to start with a stage at the top position and this makes sense because um, this way you're only going to move away from the slide. You're going to only move away um, from the objective. So you're less likely to slam the slide into the objective. At the 4x, there's no danger that you're going to slam the slide in the objective. So I usually start with it all the way down um, and then move up. But either way works with the 4x. Now you want to adjust the oculars and for this you have to switch the views but in real life what you're going to do is um, this is one of the things that students usually have the biggest amount of problem with is trying to see this view so that it's um, so you look at it with two eyes what you're going to see is you're going to see two overlapping images and as you move these closer together or further apart, you get at some point to the point that you look it looks like just one image and that's what you want. And you see the E showing up. Oops, there it was, there it was. And now you wanna adjust the iris diaphragm to get up the um, contrast. And this particular microscope, virtual microscope, gives you a red circle that tells you, and I had an old camera that used to do that, if the red circle matched, it was like two overlapping things, and if they matched and you were good. Now remember what direction this went in. We're going to have to look at that again. And I'm moving this into the middle. So when I go up to the next objective, and I now see this larger, and then you always want to find focus adjusted again. To the next objective. You noticed it. So if I push the, the arrow, actually let's go back one. The arrow goes to the, if I push this arrow to the left, the E walks to the right. If I push it to the right, the E goes to the left. If I move it this way, it goes backwards. And this way it goes forwards. I'm going to have to write this down because I'm not going to be able to remember that. So the top thing was going, hang on, give me a second. All right, the top thing, if it goes, the arrow to the right moves the letter E towards me. And the arrow to the left moves the letter E away from me. And the bottom arrow to the right moves it to the left. And the arrow to the left moves it to the right. And so if we go and switch the view now, and let's go see what the slide does. So this to the right moved this, uh, the E towards me. 
uh, and it moves it away. So it's backwards, right? It moves it away when you're to the right and to the left. And then this here is to the right and to the left. It's the same direction. Well, no, it's the opposite, right? Yeah, it's the opposite direction. So both of it is the opposite direction. If you're moving this to the right, the letter E mark box goes to the left, but the, um, the slide goes to the right. And same way, same way the other way around. And this one is the same way. And did we look at the letter E? So we put the letter E on there, just like regularly, right? And switch the view, put the 4x in place again. There's your letter E. And compare to what the letter E is supposed to look like, it looks it's upside down and backwards, right? Um, so because normally a letter E would open to the right and it'd be flipped upside down. So it is in fact upside down and backwards. 